Welcome to Sports Block, a sports show. I'm Joe Blackstockball. And I'm Golf Braley. Our first sport tonight is fastball, where we're the game where we talk about sports very quickly. Tonight's contestants are Karen, female athlete, a woman from sports, and Malcolm, also from sports. Malcolm, I see you're, uh, see you're wearing a hat and a shirt over there. What's that all about? My appearance on the show tonight is sponsored by Diet Pepis, the get up and go soda for athletes and regular Joes everywhere. Diet Pepis, drink it. Yeah, okay, sure, that's great. Our first topic of the night is footage of a guy playing basketball. I, I don't think that's how you play basketball. Hey now, I've been shooting basketballs for like 15 years. That looks pretty good. Here. Okay, well just because you do it that way doesn't mean you're right. All right, okay. hold on, hold on, hold on. We're missing the obvious point here, which is that there's clearly not enough people on that court for a full game of basketball. What's this guy doing? Hold on. Can we at least all agree that he is in fact shooting a basketball? Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right okay. That's a fastball. Anyways, the next topic. Things that aren't mascots that should be mascots. Skeleton. Tarantula. Left shoe. Steak sandwich. A football. Orphans. I'm gonna go with used bicycle tires. My dad. Banana slug. Oh, no, that's a mascot. Uh, that's a fastball. Next topic, how many baseballs can you fit in a race car? No more than three. I'm going to say exactly four. You know, given the current market, I'm going to say anywhere from 10 to six dozen. Here's something. Race car is spelled the same way forward and backwards. Did you know that? That's a triple fastball! <laughs> Next topic, Karen, female athlete. You're a woman who is also an athlete. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about that for a while, but per usual, you will not partake in the discussion. Yeah, okay, okay. okay so she's an athlete, no, so athlete. but she's a softball, volleyball, it's crazy. Uh, WNBA, it's a little bit of a trailer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. Can't do that. It's like women's soccer or whatever. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Yeah. Women's sports in the child. Women's yeah. soccer or sports? Oh, yeah. No. 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 Karen. We have decided that there's really no difference between men and women, and there should only be one set of sports. Agree or disagree? I don't care. That's a fastball! <laughs> and that sound means it's time for our bonus round, sports scoff. Tonight's sports scoff topic, ping pong. <laughs> Ugh. And that completes our bonus round. Fastball's all around! All right, our final fastball topic of the night. Uh, soccer. What is it? Soccer. What is it? Joe. Yeah. I'm going to say it's a city in Western Europe. Ouch! No fastball there, you, you know what this means. You gotta put it on. That's the rule. I'd like to thank our contestants, Karen, female athlete. Thanks for having me. And Malcolm from sports. Yes, it's almost as pleasurable as a crisp, refreshing container of Diet Pepis, the great tasting soda. That's only dangerous if you have a pre-existing kidney condition. Diet Pepis, feed it to your dogs. We'll be back with more Sports Block after the break. Oh hi, I didn't see you there. Are you tired of not having nude pictures from me sent to your phone? Don't worry about that anymore. My name's Brett Dickerson, and I'll send nude pictures to your phone for no cost at all. When's the last time you saw a penis? Let me ask you a different question. When's the last time you saw my penis? Probably five seconds from now. Check your phone. You don't need to send me your number. I've already got all of them. Air in my mouth. 
Remember, messaging rates do apply. But I'm gonna send the pictures anyway. Hey, what are you doing in here? Get the f out! Nude pictures. Brett Dickerson, more like Brett Dickert's son. That's f***ed up. Buzz Buzz, it's me. Check your phone. Knees, what are they? How can we trust them? These questions plague the average sports lover every day, yet no one seems to have the answers. Until now. Welcome back to Sports Block. As always, I'm Golf Braley, and here now with me is Quinn Pilkey, the football doctor. Now, Quinn, you're a doctor of football with a doctorate in football studies. <clears throat> yes, precisely. Uh, you see, in my line of work, I come into contact with knees all the time. Did you know they're actually one of the weakest parts of the human body? Fascinating. Yep. Right up there with the eyes and the scrotum. <laughs> But let's get serious, because they're the weakest part, one of the weakest parts, but they're also one of the most important parts for a human, especially a human athlete. So whether you're doing a basketball or shooting the old ski ball, it's all on the knees. That's why I have these. Dr. Milky, a great tasting supplement made of the milk of over 24 different animals, made to strengthen your knees for any sports task you might tackle. And today you're going to test this on us, correct? Exactly. You and Malcolm have already had a couple drinks of mm -hmm. Dr. Milky, and now we're go going to undergo a series of tests designed to uh, test the strength and the flexibility of your knees, and I, th I think we're going to have a fun time. <laughs> Before we get started, I just wanted to remind everyone at home to go out and buy a nice big can of Diet Pepys. Diet Pepys has all the benefits of water with a great taste of Diet Soda. Diet Pepys. It's not just for old people anymore. And while you're out shopping for Diet Pepys, meet me behind your local grocery store for a tall glass of Dr. Milky. Let's begin. Our first test here will gauge each participant's knee separation strength. Uh, Golf, you're gonna go first. Yeah. Uh, hmm. All right, now just separate them. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Extremely weak. <laughs> All right. Malcolm, you're next. <laughs> uh, get that here. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it like you held it on me. <laughs> Look at him. He's jacked. He's juiced. He's, He's huge. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's move on. Our second test is the squat test. It'll see how well your knees hold up under extreme duress. As you can see, Malcolm has already started. <laughs> yeah, uh, golf, I, you can go whenever you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> Out of shape. <laughs> Extremely <laughs> pathetic knees. I had a big breakfast this morning. I'll eat you for a big breakfast this morning. <laughs> Why are you so angry? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the steroid <laughs> milk kicking in. <laughs> what? what? What kind of animal is that? <laughs> it's just chock full of steroids. <laughs> Our final test will uh, we'll see our participants' reflexes, how they hold up under a dosage of Dr. Milky. Golf, go first. Please uh, hit him in the knee. I, I don't know if I can. I'm starting to think you didn't give us the same thing, Doc. <laughs> of course not. You got the control. What? You see, it's a bone decalcifier. Makes your bones weaker. Uh, that's not how a control <laughs> works, Doctor. <laughs> please, please. Which one of us is the doctor? Go on. Okay. <laughs> well, at least we know that decalcifier is working. <laughs> that was dog. Malcolm, 
You're up. I don't think you, I don't. I don't think I should. I don't I, think you should. It's fine. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, folks. <laughs> the incredible, amazing benefits of Dr. Milky. Now available wherever the FDA isn't sniffing around. Thanks for watching. After the break, we'll do some more sports. <laughs> My name's Levi Johnson. This is big old Levi's big old jar of eggs. We got all kinds of eggs. We got boiled eggs, we got soft boiled eggs, we got rotten eggs, we got quail eggs, pheasant, Russian, dog. <laughs> How much do my eggs cost? Two ninety nine? No. Nineteen ninety nine? No. Two ninety nine? No. These are my eggs. You can't buy them. <gasps> all my eggs are pickled in three parts freshly harvested bull piss and two parts of a liquid I'm technically not allowed to call vinegar. <laughs> Get out of here, low prices! My eggs. Big old Levi's big old jar of eggs. Don't open them. Don't open them. We got all kinds of eggs. Big old Levi's big old jar of eggs. Don't open them. These are my eggs. You can't buy them. Don't open them. Don't open them. Fresh and harvested bull piss. Don't open them. They're my eggs. Welcome back to Sports Block. I'm Joe Blackstock, filling in for Golf Braley, who has been hospitalized indefinitely. Our final sport of the evening is whose sport is it anyway? On team one, we have acclaimed college sports coach Mickey Duplass and professional boxer Matthew Howard. On team two, due to a scheduling error, we have brothers David and Jeffrey Moley. Yes. Together they make up the uh, improv duo, The Molesters. It, it, it's Moliesters. Moli Esther. It's an accent. Yeah. Whatever. It's time for round one. Mickey, Matt, you're up first. And uh, act out a sport in team two. We'll guess what it is. <coughs> Grocery uh, shopping. Uh, sw swatting the flies. Swatting flies. Uh, a, a withdrawal from the bank after hours. Flipping the bird. Uh, vehicular homicide. Uh, All sports. Swatting flies again. But not the right one. Keep going. Um, gosh, uh, did I already say going to the grocery store? Police interrogation. Uh, 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 season three of, of 24. Jeffrey Dahmer and all of his victims. Uh, uh, Black Mirror, uh, the show. Time's up, fellas. The answer you were looking for is... Baseball. Baseball. Points to team one. Yeah, sounds about right. Here's your bonus question, team one. What sport is the best sport? Well, obviously, in terms of sheer intensity, lacrosse is the best sport. It's got running, it's got nets, it's got balls, and it's got grass. All the staples of what we know to be the modern entertainment sports complex. Oof. Sorry, Mickey, lacrosse is for little babies. Are you a there little you baby? Go. Guess so, baby man. No points for the little baby man. Team two, you're up. All right. Oh, oh, um. Gosh, what are you doing out here uh, so late at uh, in the evening? I told you I can't do that anymore. Uh, sh sh I think Dad's I been out for weeks. Uh, He's been out for weeks. You're my, That's you're my dad. Well, I mean, uh, I went no, out. No, no, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, no, 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 I'm gonna walk the back. Uh, Dad? Where did Dad go? Take and that's time. Team one, the, uh, have a guess. Here's the deal, Joe. You got these two guys up here, the molesters, or whatever you call M Malie them. Molesters. Molesters. You got these guys up here, and they botched it. They didn't even stick to the format, they took too long, and they're not even athletes. I'm a college sports coach. I don't know what the hell these two sons of bitches did up here. Great guess, but wrong. Matthew? Uh, I don't know. Golf? Nope. It was surfing! <laughs> <laughs> surfing Idiot. USA. 
my favorite thing. All right, here's your bonus question, team two. Fuck, Mary kill, Dirk Nowitzki, Jose Bautista, and Lance Armstrong. That's a good one. This one's extremely tough. Um, uh, I'm gonna marry Dave <coughs> Bautista, the actor. From Guardians of the Galaxy. Volume I mean, the thing is, they, they, they all have really long arms, uh -huh. and, and like, one I of think- them, One of them shares the name with the man who went on the moon, and he's got a bike, too. And I'd really like a Lance bike. Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. Irrelevant. And you're out of time. Uh, no bonus points for the molesters. All right. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, I mean, you don't really get points in improv anyways. It's kind of a communal sport. Whatever. It's time for round two. Nothing changes except now there's confetti. <laughs> Matthew, you're up solo this time. Let's see what you got. Uh, oh, no, let's just. Oh, oh. <laughs> Annie Hall. And Frank. What you doing there, Matthew? Uh, Fighting uh, a ghost? When Justin Bieber uh, went to the Anne Frank Museum and said that he thought Anne Frank would have been a believer. When I went to the Anne Frank Museum and said I am a believer. You know what I'm not a believer in? This act. You look ridiculous. <laughs> it's boxing. Guys, it's, it's boxing. You sure? Is that what boxing is? I thought you were trying to milk a horse. You know what? It's so easy. Why don't you... Uh, Square up. I mean, I wasn't planning on it, but um, you know, uh, I'm a southpaw. So can you? Yeah. Here, hold my mic. I am gonna take you to Pound Town, buddy. Not if I take you there first. All right. Oh, oh say, Uncle. Say it, Uncle. Uncle. Now say, I hereby resign from Sports Block, and I will make my life dedicated to making pottery. I hereby resign from Sports Block, and I will make my life dedicated to pottery. It's my show now. Anyway, uh, that's it for Sports Block this week. No winners. Uh, but tune in next week with uh, Dr. Quinn Pilkey explains the benefits of eating bread and nothing else. I am Matthew Howard, and Thank you for watching Sports Live. Does this mean we win? Yeah, hey, uh.